bullying you? The kid over there. Well, fortunately, I'm educated in bullying. Would it be okay if I sat down and shared some stuff with you? Yes. I can't take it anymore. Okay, I have a laptop. I would like um, a PowerPoint on my laptop that I would like to share with you. Okay, so it's called How to Cope with Bullying, because this is a pretty common issue in schools today. I just wanted to share with you that you are not alone. Over 3.2 million students are victims of bullying each year. By age 14, less than 30% of boys and 40% of girls will talk to their peers about bullying. Bullying is a big deal and is never okay. So what exactly is bullying? A bully is someone who directs physical, verbal, or psychological aggression or harassment towards others with the goal of gaining power over or dominating another individual. So what exactly are the signs of bullying? Um, feelings of helplessness or decreased self-esteem, sudden loss of friends or avoidance of social situations, difficulty sleeping or frequent nightmares, frequent headaches or stomach aches, feeling sick or faking illness, um, lost or destroyed clothing, books, electronic or jewelry, declining grades, loss of interest in schoolwork, or not wanting to go to school at all. Changes in eating habits like suddenly skipping meals or binge eating. Kids may come home from school hungry because they didn't want to eat lunch. Do you feel like you are experiencing any of these signs? Yes. How many signs are you experiencing? The eating on the bench. <gasps> so you have to, you don't like to eat in the front of the kids? Yes. Okay, so hopefully by the end of this we can change that. So what do you do if you're being bullied? Um, well first, if you're being bullied, you want to avoid the person who is bullying you. So take a different route. Let's say you're walking to class and you see that bully. Um, go the other way. Find a different way to get to class so you don't have to see that bully. Um, get a buddy, a friend who can walk with you. Two people are, are more intimidating than one for the bully and they'll be less likely to make fun of you. Um, you never want to bully back because that just makes you a bully too and it doesn't solve the situation. You always want to stand up for yourself. So let's say you have to make confrontation with this bully. You can say stuff like, go away or stop it. Say it in a loud voice so others can hear you. Um, then walk away. And lastly, you always want to tell an adult, either it's, whether it's your principal, teacher, or a parent. Um, they can always stop the situation. So some ways to manage stress. Um, exercising is a good way to relieve stress. Um, that comes with school and friends and everything. Um, spending time outside and finding a hobby that you enjoy. And I have a little um, question for you. Um, a kid at school is bullying me. They pushed me into lockers, called me horrible names, and threatened me. What should I do? So, A, B, C, or D. A, you wanna, do you wanna punch the kid in the face? B, stand up straight, say leave me alone, then walk away. C, report the situation to an adult. D, give the bully your lunch money. There's more than one answer. C. C, report the situation to an adult. Yep, that's one of the answers. And you also would wanna um, show that you're confident, stand up straight, say leave me alone, and then walk away. Um, yep, and I explained why those were the answers. Good job. So do you think you can handle um, being around the bully now? Yes. Okay.